Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Europa Universalis 4, and this is Millennia in the Making episode 253. We're currently playing as France. We're still not the Holy Roman Empire, Emperor, because, uh, you know, women. God, I hope Giselbert dies at some point as well. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Um, we're just waiting on, you know, death. But in the meantime, we're also at war with these guys. Uh, specifically, we're at war with um, some guys in Turkey in order to take parts of Turkey, as you do. And we're at war with Egypt, Abyssinia, and Mali to take parts of Egypt. The Mali, Mali guys are kind of annoying me because they did just wipe out one of my armies down here. So I'm going to have to start making another one, just a small one save the usual 20 X-Men or whatever 20 X-Men yeah that'd be that would be the day so let's see one two that's our artillery done let's say six cavalry for once Okay, so that would be an army of 24, but it's not what I'm after. I'm after for a little bit more than that. So let's make it an army such as that. 30. All up. Good. Get to work. Right. Ships are fine. Buildings, probably fine. Mm, we could build these forts. Build a lot of things in those provinces, to be quite honest. <sighs> but we are saving up. We're saving up admin and diplomatic tech. We don't care too much about military right now because we are well ahead of the curve. Though, let's be honest, the next level of fort would be great. As would the, uh, you know, upgrade to. What the fuck is going on outside? And as would the upgrade to the Latin cavalry, Latin caracol cavalry, and the combat width increase. And an upgrade to infantry fire as well. Unfortunately, that is, as it usually is, so far out of um, the realm of what we can do at the moment. So, let's look at armories. Just build some armories everywhere that we can, huh? We've got plenty of tech for it. And let's be honest, there's no reason not to. Well, the reason not to would be that we've already got so much um, in terms of manpower, but they do also give that local recruitment time modifier. Doesn't matter so much for our local provinces, but for ones overseas, they have a penalty to recruitment, so this can help them out a little bit more too. And that's all we can do for now. So, back to the war. Oh yes, we've got a bunch of stuff I don't care about there, and some requests for military access. So what I'm going to do is ignore the Mali army, the Mali armies, and just sort of beat down on the Egyptians, because we've almost taken all of Egypt anyway, so, you know, that's what we do. And we don't care about Abyssinia, who are also in the war. So we just managed to stack wipe them, which is great. And I will actually start moving this army down towards the Mali armies. To Gen, as it were. To see if I can deal with them in some fashion. And also, I think we had a spare military commander. Yep. Just put him there, just in case they attack. Ah, Moron has finally become self-sustaining. Wonderful. So now... We should have two colonists sitting around. So I'm going to send one to Havana. Just so that we get all of Cuba. And I will send the other one... Where will I send the other one? Guiana? No, it's tropical. I don't want... I really just don't want to start colonizing goddamn tropical land again. Colonial regions, thank you. No, not trade companies. There, okay, so... Colonial Brazil will be fine. 
So we'll send them to. Uh... I mean, damn tropical places. Send him to that one when we get him. And we just got him. So this. Not this army here, because they're still trying to settle that. This army here. will go down there. Actually, no. No, the army that's actually in St. Lucia will do that, because they're more uh, ready for it. I want that other army to head up to. Uh... Actually, I want that other army to start attacking the Incans when we can, but. A little bit away from that just now. Yeah, once I fully occupy Egypt, we should have what we want here. Okay, France is getting Colonial Enthusiasm, which is a plus 5% settler chance and plus 25 global settler increase. That should be... Yeah, there you go. So the, now that's 100, which is great. Like, holy shit. And anywhere where our dudes actually are, they should have an even better chance of doing stuff. Yeah. Amazing. So, I may... With this one up in Havana, I may get the guy to settle it and then immediately recall him. So that I can get him to get working on... Uh, the Ivory Coast. Because having that little boost there would be amazing. Okay, do I want a chance headed down, heading down? No, because I know that's a river crossing, so I'll just sit up there and besiege their shit. Let's see if Egypt will peace out for anything. Egypt, what I want of you is that, that. Oh my god, this is going to cost us so much. Can you give me this one in the peace offer? Well, I don't particularly need Aswan, I guess, in this war. So that's going to be 98. God damn, that's huge. That shouldn't cost us any diplomatic power, at least. And, uh... It'll get us what we want of Mali, as well as Egypt. Alright, we just gotta work on that. Let's use the med fleet. I mean, we should use the fleets that we've got, right? This could do have some ships, but I can get these transports to come out and just blockade roads. What are they doing? Moving to Wasiju. That one up there. You know what? When they move up there, I will totally hit them. I don't care about river crossings at that point because they're beyond the range of this guy's reinforcements. We'll catch them. Beautiful. Yeah, they're trying to come back over there to lift sieges. And we can't have that happen, can we? So yeah, we took a river crossing. Not terribly concerned about that. Good, and they've broken and fleeing. Let's see. They're probably going back to Timbuktu. So let's see if we can just chase them all the way back. Okay, we've got our guy back from Trondalag. I don't remember where Trondalag was. So that's an issue. Oh right, this place up here. Well, we'll send him back there because there's another um, place to put a claim on. Blackinge. No, they're going to Gurma? The fuck are you going to Gurma for? Are they seriously running all the way over there? I'll chase them down because it's a big army and it's worth trying to stack wipe it. Tunis, good. Uh, head over that way then. 
this fleet will engage this fleet and destroy it. Okay, looks like they're still running to Katsina. God damn. This is taking forever. I kind of hope that um, these guys don't win their siege before we can manage to get back. Okay, you guys head up there. Now, Cartley was... What the fuck was Cartley? It just told me I ended the siege in Cartley. I swear I saw something about it. Oh, this one up here. Right, Georgia, my friends. Congratulations. Welcome back. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. Yeah, I'll just send these guys over here to this province and they can besiege that. So yeah, we've just revassalized Georgia, so good on us. Okay, seriously, where are you little bastards going? All the way to Kano. Yeah, they're probably going to run again when I get to them, because they've recovered so much morale by now. Sure, you can all have it. Yep, they managed to run, so let's follow them again. Okay, so they successfully besieged that place, now they're going to attack into the Ivory Coast. I refuse to leave the Ivory Coast, so I'm going to need a little bit of luck, to be honest. We've got 1-2, we've got a 3-2. Now we might be able to do something with it. But I just refuse to leave the Ivory Coast. They do outnumber us, but we've got terrain and um, the river crossing on, on that. Okay. So one of our merchants doesn't like what we're doing. So for 10 years we can get an absent merchant in Ragusa and plus one mercantilism permanently. Or we can lose one mercantilism and get uh, shitty modifiers. I'd rather take the mercantilism bonus, because provinces is how we're getting our trade, basically. Gal, okay, probably going all the way back to Timbuktu. We just need to keep rolling high. Oh shit, that's not good. That's better. No, higher. Okay, we want a siege up here, that's good news. So just go up there. You know, I'd actually go over this way because that's a fairly sizable army right there. Those guys have stopped running, that's good. I think we've got this one. We just need to keep rolling decently, which is, that is not decent. Okay, that's good. Send these guys in there so the transports can get out of uh, technical danger. Alright, we won that battle, and we also stack wipe from up north, so now we're going to come down here and uh, see about destroying their other army. Okay, one of these armies needs to move out. Yeah, it's rough business some days, isn't it? Lido, sure, whatever. They're actually fleeing to Zhen. I'm just gonna sit here for a bit and see where these guys are going. Probably all the way over to here, so let's just check on that. 100 population in uh, Asequibio. Asequibio? 
this place. It's good. It's good. This means that we're uh, propping up a little. Oh, right. Uh, you guys needed to get on that transport. On the transport. Then the transport needed to deliver you down to this place. Before the natives got a little bit riled. Okay, Colonia, are you finally all done? You're all done. But you're also Protestant. That would cost me 50 prestige to take you. Let's leave you be for the moment. Let's go down here and stack wipe these losers. Try to, anyway. <coughs> Pace off from Colonia, nope. Yeah, looks like these guys are running all the way. Siege of Naxos is over, wonderful. Do you have a place up here? We have all of Paphlagonia? No, we're not. That's odd. Whatever, buddies. Yeah, definitely running back to that same. Oh, they're actually going to run through some rebels. That's not great. You know what? We're going to go this way. So we can't go through those rebels without a fight. So we're just going to have to uh, go the long way around and see what's happening. Yep. Looks like these guys are getting together. Oh, and we can invest in um, diplomatic tech again. Let's do that. So the next level will give us road networks, which is additional trade power and grand shipyards, which is shipbuilding stuff, of course. We may consider... Where's our trade shit? Ah, oh, we don't have enough diplomatic power, of course. We just spent it all. And we're about to lose this bonus up here. Alright, we've won against Egypt, so that's good. Let's just get our guys back home. Let's let this fight continue. We're not going to stack wipe them. But we can get our dudes back home, which is important. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to actually send them down this way. Not through the rebels. Okay. Egypt, my friend. All of that, and that. Done. That is so much aggressive expansion. Oh, we're overextended as well. Luckily, one of our places is going to finish being overextended very shortly. Just spend a lot of admin power to core the rest of it. Once this 32% goes away, we'll be fine. So that'll happen in December this year. And we're only going to have to convert one place, because Egypt is Protestant. Good news for us. We've got a lot more trade power in Alexandria as well. So that'll help us out there. Oh, these guys are still running. Let's continue then. Nope. The issue here is that if we act too harsh in this war, we may take too much overextension at that point. Alright, so let's see. So docks add to it, add to trade power, but Wien doesn't have any docks. Marketplaces, I know we've already filled Wien up with marketplaces. Yep. So the next step after it is trade depots, which I believe we also filled Wien up with them. So that means 
canals. They can only be made on the ones that we've already built trade depots on. So uh, the good news there is that when we get more diplomatic power, we'll just be able to fill in this grain area. In fact, let's start it with the biggest number we can see on the board, which would be Wien itself. So specifically canals, let's see. Yeah, plus two trade power and plus 25% trade value. It's nice. Cyprus is now part of our stuff, so now we can look at converting Cyprus. And also we're no longer horrifically overextended, just, just marginally overextended. But most of that work will be done in a year's time anyway. Uh, it looks like we stack wipe those guys, which is good. We're going to have to declare war on somebody soon. Like one of our rivals, because... <sighs> and even if we just declared war on... We can't declare war on them because of his fucking truce with us for another four years. I mean, we can continue fabricating claims on the little bastards. I mean, Persia is kind of a decent node for us, but... Ah, uh, why not? If you don't have it, you can't take it. Alright, what's happening down here? You guys, are you moving in properly? Yep, good. There's a fine, I'll take your general away from you. The army up here is complete. Well, you're not staying up there, so head on down to Gibraltar and we'll deal with you from that point. We're going to need another three transport ships, though. Let's make them in Gibraltar in just the meantime, I guess. Or, well, you know, places around Gibraltar. It's fine. Georgia could use a diplomat to help them out, you know, to not being bitches towards us, but... Nah. Don't have one spare at the moment. We're getting one spare soon. Which we'll use to end this war over here. Additional manpower that we didn't need. Siege of Konya is over. Okay, so this army, I'm actually going to send it down to here. No, oh, you know what? Not for the moment, not for the moment. It can stay. Because we do have some other attacks to make up here, such as Dioclear and things like that. Dioclear isn't actually allied to anybody. Wow. And we don't have a truce with them or anything. Guess who's next? And of course, we haven't taken um, roads. I mean, maybe we should. You know what? Yeah, maybe we should. Come over here, guys. Nope. Get on board, come on over here to the Gulf of Satalina, Satalia. There we go, and over you go. Wonderful work, gentlemen, wonderful work. I just pop off that for a moment, lose your guy, we'll give him to these guys. And we'll declare war on these fools here, thank you. Take home Macedon. Go. In you go, lads. The Aegean Isles would like to cede Naxos to us. No, we're good. If 
we're lucky we could almost get the entire node at this point. Maybe. We'll have to see. Because that overextension is still an issue. You know, for a bit. Wallaf will take us a bit longer to do because it wasn't... It's uh, culture, I think, is... Not of ours. You know, that's fine. We can live with that. Get the transports and just sort of... Actually, no, it doesn't even have to be transports. It's going to actually be the military fleet at this point. Yeah, no, we better just be nice. Keep it all, keep it all there. Pretty big revolt chance in Cyprus. Not willing to spend 80 whole military power to, you know, deal with it though. Speaking of military power. Up oh, that one up there, that'll need it. There, there, there and there. The rest of that is pretty much fine because I'm going to secure the Constantinople node in just a moment. And yeah, the rest of that's pretty fine, so let's see. Armories was the other thing that we were looking at. Why not? It's not like we can spend it on... Uh, well, the next idea group that we get, we really should make it a military one. We've neglected military for some time now. I mean, look at that, we really could use something there. And there are some nice things. Don't get me wrong. There are some very nice things that go with that. Uh, you can see there we'd get... Uh, a thing which could give us minus 25% land attrition, one which could give us more infantry combat and siege ability, more army tradition, regiment costs down, morale up for navies, oh and fort defense up. I mean look, there's some good stuff. It would just, you know, unfortunately cost us points, as we've seen. I'm not actually sure which one we'd go for. I mean, I like quality. I really like quality. But for ones that give your leaders additional stuff and army tradition and all that sort of business. So defensive is also really good. As is offensive, of course. Gives you forced march, which is... Honestly, I think forced march is super important. Super important. Oh, I just want to check something. The phallusocracy. Phallusocracy. Yes, that's it. He said. You've got to have maritime ideas completed. And that would give us another merchant, I think. Yeah, another merchant. More navy tradition. Less dip tech cost. So, maritime ideas is this one here. So, it's, it's literally all ship stuff. The only reason we would be getting it would be for that. And what other things does it give us? Force limits increase, colonial range increase if we want it, and heavy ship combat ability and naval lead. Stuff we don't really use, but uh, it's such a good thing having just an additional merchant. Oh hey, we finished that mission that we had. So now the missions that we have are to vassalize it, which get us 25 Diplo and 25 Admin Power. Get a Presence in India, or achieve Religious Unity. Religious Unity is... just not happening at this point in time. Uh, let's see, 2, 3, 4... Um, 4 and a half, 5 and a half, 6 and a half, 7 and a half, 8. 8, we can get another 0. 0.5 from having another Point of Stability, so that's 8.5. We can get another 2 for having an Inquisitor if we get one, so that'd be 10.5. Plus the forts, that'd be 10.7. We need 11%. We need 11.1%. It might be an idea 
just to fucking go religious ideas, it'd be a massive, massive waste, to be quite honest, because we'd have to go four in before we could get plus three percent missionary strength. But then we'd get this Deus Vault thing against heathens and heretics, we'd get plus one missionary, which we don't need. Minus 25 stability cost is nice. Global tariffs, plus one missionary, we just don't need it. Ah, how irritating. How irritating. Ooh, though culture conversion cost minus 25%. Mm. Oh, we're just going to make that decision when we come to it, because right now there's no real point. Um, I don't think I'm going to actually be able to get these guys in a position to vassalize them. I'm not sure... I mean... It'll put us one over as well. Which would be an issue. I don't particularly want to be won over. Do we have anybody that we can just release? Or not care about? Okay, we've got vassals. Those are our vassals. Georgia. We should put a royal marriage in with Georgia. Um, so that's six. What's our other thing? Prussia is a lesser union partner. Well, we are going to dump Shalland at some point to start... Well, Shalland and uh, Vastagotland to start converting them, so... We can't do that while we're at war. You know what? I will say get a presence in India is our next objective. So now we've gotten some conquest Cassus Belli against some places over here which is good all of these places around here that's we need something there Malwa might be a good target or Delhi I mean you know taking the lower sign just there we'd need ships on this side of thing or we just need to push through Persia Which we could totally do. We pull our guy back from Galich at least. Send a guy to Georgia to give him a um, royal marriage. Good work, lads. Yeah, so now. We're just trying to take roads just so that we get 100% war score, just in case it actually has some sort of effect. Nope. I wonder, do we have a truce with these losers? We do. When does that run out? Two years. We don't have any sort of... No, we don't have any reason to go to war with them. We don't actually have any... We don't have any dip... Oh no, we do. We totally do. Okay, so we're going to fabricate some claims over in the West Indies. Ah, uh, just whatever the fuck we can, to be quite honest. The whole lot. Okay, he's back from Georgia. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's see if we can end it. What do you got that I want? That, 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 that's going to cost us 45 diplomatic power and overextension. It's going to cost us 45 and some overextension. Nothing there, nothing there. We can't take that one uh, because it's their stuff. How much overextension can I stand? 28%. Twenty eight per cent overextension. That's twenty eight right there. Come on. That's only twelve.
they would do this, but 40% overextension is just too much at this point in time, and uh, 90 diplomatic power don't have it. I kind of want it as well. I want the diplomatic power, so bugger the Aegean Isles. We'll just take all of this shit. Um, now we'll leave roads. So yeah, we'll just take that stuff. And of course, tell them to annul all of their bullshit. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um. No, that's good. Go. Thank you. Good work, lads. Uh, you should actually just head back in there. Um. No. Head of way over here to Persia. They're our next target. So that was pretty good, that was pretty good. I don't think any of those have the wrong religion, so... Still doing well there. Paphlagonia. We have no truce, you're allied with various places. Abkhazia, where the fuck is Abkhazia? I guess we'll find out when we get a diplomat back. Anytime now. More manpower. Crimea, the Aegean Isles. Oh, there's Abkhazia and there's Crimea? Crimea is there. That's fine. Join in, everybody. The Aegean Isles and Crimea. Mistake. On their part. Okay. These ships need to come over this way. Are they moving? Yep. And the war galleys can come up here to the Aegean Isles again. Uh, actually, we'll put them around here. Because I can't actually take any of the Aegean Isles or whatever. Or really care about them, to be quite honest. Ah, it's Quibio has actually finished doing its thing. Beautiful. Another fort level, thanks. And that's given us one of our dudes back. So, where are our colonies? We have three colonies. One in the Ivory Coast that I was going to send them to. One in Havana, which is already getting worked. And one in Sierra, which is also getting worked. Good stuff. You guys head up here. We'll transport some dudes. Do we have the trading bonus in grain yet? No. We must be getting close to it, though. And once the Ivory Coast is done, we can actually start attacking Bannon over here. And that'll be good. It'll give us more land in uh, Africa. Ideally, I want all of Africa to be mine, because then I don't care about what happens with the trade, apart from at the very end parts. It's just annoying that it all goes around that way. Oh well. We make do with what we make do with. Ah, good, those places converted their cores out. So now we're just waiting on Woloff, which is taking twice as long, because... Ah, uh, well. It wasn't German, I believe? What was I doing with this army? Up to England? Up to this part of... Uh, yeah, actually, they were totally coming up here, so... Got plenty of supply there, right? Yep. Plenty of supply. Yeah, they were going to help us wage war. Against those fellows.
we have lost colonialism against Great Britain. That's because this has all become part of um, the 13 colonies. So I predict that we have a Cassus Belli against them? No, we don't. We'd have to make one. I don't have a diplomat I'm willing to spare at the moment, but we'll totally make one against them. And also, when we actually take Connecticut, that'll work out alright for us. Also, when we colonize this place, so we should actually, honestly, get on that. Get in there. Yeah, because the more stuff we can take off of 13 colonies, the less, well, America has a chance of forming, and, you know, that's good for everybody. Alright, so we made that claim on Persia. I'll send that guy over to make the claim on the 13 colonies place. I don't mind going to war with, um, Britain. Just, you know, we want to be a little bit careful about it because Britain is kind of big. <sighs> Not as big as us, of course. Okay, that siege is complete, so that's technically the war done there. as soon as our guy gets back. Thank you. Uh, full annexation, it's not going to cost us anything. Done. And we'll just core it. Takes a little bit of time, that's alright. Because now we're really rocking home in the Constantinople node. couple of places have merchants, but merchants don't matter in trade nodes unless you have the majority. In inland nodes, such as Wien, we've seen merchants can fuck up our shit, but yeah, in um, coastal nodes, no dramas. Yeah, yeah you guys can probably hop out of there. Tobacco is being produced in Sierra. It's this one down here, I think. Good. Not the best of things to produce. I mean, the demand is only slightly higher than the uh, supply, but hey, it still works. Oh look, Portugal will have a province down there too. Mm. Cotton will be produced in Havana. All right. No dramas. Have a look at the colonial regions again. Okay, yeah, so that entire area up there is one colony. Pretty big, actually. Hmm. Should probably move our ships down here to take advantage of, um, you know, a blockade. Just trying to click around to find out where our, um, ah, good, they did make it there. Perfect. Well, then, you guys can fuck off back to the mainland. I have no need for you down here. You're going to be our Britain assault force when the time comes. Do we have a spare leader? We do not. 
Let's just check where our leaders are. You are unnecessary, Jizzlebert. Let's send you over to the um to the colonies. Where hopefully you die. These guys. It's a colonial conquest. Got some uh, revolutionaries who just came up in Cyprus, so that's going to be irritating. So our boats up here should now come down to the Med. <sighs> okay, so the only thing that can truly create a good commander at sea is the experience of being at sea. Competent people can be promoted, and this is what creates a strong navy. However, some factions in the country truly dislike such egalitarianism. Uh, a cabin boy can become captain, that's lose one stability, or never, which is lose 20 naval tradition. I could not care less about naval tradition at this point, that that's not really... I'm not caring too much about it. I mean, it's kind of important, but never. And on the back of that, let's make another... Um, trade fleet just in case so let's see one two three four five I'll try and concentrate it in a few provinces this time so that the trade fleets that are already active don't you know get him away okay it's gonna take a bit longer to make but you know whatever let's make it 32 ships done Oh, okay, Alexandretta must have come up from uh, Odessa or something like that. They have no allies, and we do have a cast spell eye against them when our, when our diplomat comes back, so... And they are part of the Alexandria node, so let's take the shit out of that. An oligarchic republic. They're also Catholic, so fuck them. Oh, and we're still at war over here, aren't we? Yeah, no dramas whatsoever. In position, when's our merchant getting back? Ooh, it's an important center of trade as well. Ray conquest. In we go. <coughs> Excellent. So now when our dude gets back, we'll just keep on fabricating claims over here, thank you. And wherever we can. And when we've got all that we can, we'll declare war on them and take what we can get. Siege of Connecticut is over, so therefore this war is over. I don't even know where these guys are. Oh, in there, lovely. We... No, we don't actually have the ability to move in there. That's alright. When our diplomat gets back, we'll declare peace. Good. Full annexation, it'll give us 20% overextension, that's fine. So now we've got some more colonial Cassus Belli's against various people. So let's core this place before we even look at starting to convert it. Core before you convert. It's gonna take a while, but you know, that's fine. Let's 
excuse me. Alright, so let's send a missionary down to Woloff and get that one done. Meanwhile, our two little wars over here just continue. Ah, that one is now over. And I need to just get these guys on the boat to send them to deal with these losers. There's Boozian nationalists. Okay, Diplomat is back. Good. Sue for peace. So full annexation isn't going to cost us anything. Done. Sorted. There's a caravel in that navy? Why is there a caravel in that navy? They must have captured it, so I'll send him over here to where these other boats are getting made. Just so we can join him for fun. You guys no longer require a leader there. So once again, that's a little bit more of um, Constantinople. In fact, the only places which still have land are the Aegean Isles and uh, Sibiriot. And we'll deal with them, won't we? Come on, guys. They're only rebels. Thank you. Back on the boat. Back to dry land. Okay, I guess these boats should hang around here for just a little bit longer. Okay, so our guy succeeded over here in the 13 colonies. Do we have any more Cassus Belli that we can forge on him? Nope. The various uh, rebellions that they could have. So we could declare war on them to take that place. They are allied to these places, and I don't know if Great Britain automatically joins the war, or just has the ability to enforce peace whenever. Yeah, I'm not actually sure about that. Hmm. We might test that out next episode, perhaps. Some places need earth ramparts still. You always get the first level. Where's the other place that needs it? It's not St. Lucia, is it? Totally is. There we go. Sorted and done. So just check down here. Oh yeah, there's just some allies in here that we can quite easily take care of. The only issue there is access. Because, you know, we're not Holy Roman Emperor. He's going to be around for quite some time. He can't re-inherit it, but we can at the very least. Let's end this war before the end of the episode, though. Just get these guys out so that they can make the besiege action, at least. Or the, you know, additional... What is it, two points or something? I forget. Okay. Come on, take it! Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna send this little army over here. Get him in position for the eventual Persian War. Which does remind me. Fabricate some claims on Fars. If I can get as far along to Delhi as I can, but I can complete my objective to take a uh, province in India. Or on the Indian coast, at least. And that would be good. Siege of Aleppo is over. Great. Diplomat is home. Sue for peace. I'll take it. Done. Perfect. Oh, and let's get it converted as well. Is it a core province already? Yeah, so we just convert it. Good, Kiev is almost done. 
Those places are making progress at least. This fleet, this fleet. Well, we're about to have an issue with Great Britain, so I would not mind the ability to get a fleet up there to transport some dudes. Ivory Coast is done. Oh, yes. Nice. Very nice. Do we have a spare, mer spare colonist now? Yes, we do. Send him in. What's this? Novgorod is demanding unlawful territory. Go fuck yourself, Novgorod. You're not the real emperor. Not the real emperor. Let's build some canals. Good thing about this is we can literally only build canals in the Wii End node at this point in time. Around this area, anyway. You can see we've still got access up here. Nice, so they will all get built, nice and handily, ready for the road network, which also increases movement speed. Okay, our dude just got home. When's our truce with these guys run out? <laughs> like 15 goddamn years away. So we'll just have to wait for that. Who else holds part of the Alexandria node? It's Egypt and Nubia. Can't go to war with Egypt for a little bit. Yeah, another 12 years. Oh, we'll just have to let them sort of sit in silence. I'm not going to attack Mali again. Yeah, I think our next wars will be colonial wars. Either that or, um, you know, this shit up here. I mean, it would be nice to take all of Lubeck. You know what? Who are you guys based with? Estonia. Estonia is just down there. You know what, guys? We got this. Who's Estonia allied with? Stop. It's literally it. Wow. We need another army up here, actually, so let's just make another one while we think about it. Oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to have eighteen of these guys. Then six of these dudes. And then six of these dudes. Alright, now there'll be another army up there. Beautiful. Let's call that the end of the episode. So, as usual, if you've got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Uh, if you liked it, give it a like. If you would like to see more, subscribe button's there as well. In the meantime, though, I have been Sub. You have been yourselves. Later.